This program takes the input of an array with ranges with the rays inside that array, which make up the ranges of a number line. So the number one would start at one and end at two because this has one two in it. And then um, if there's something that's one more that's just that's um consecutive with the number line and there's another line number line right after, it could combine. And um, if there's a number line inside the number line, obviously they would combine. So um, the program would try to have um it would try to find a left and right inside the number line, and because two could be found in this number line which connects to this number line, which connects to this one, and so they're all the same because they're only because they're all consecutive. The output and right is 6, you can find both in the same number line, so the output is true. <coughs> However, for example, with this one, if you, have, if you try to find 17, because there's, n because there's no um, line segment with under 17, it, it cannot find the left, which is 17, even though it can find the right, which is 42. So the output would be false. However, on this, this um this pro this um this input left and right is twenty one and forty five, <coughs> so the output c would be true. Um, the program will um find out how to do it without a human, so it'll have a function is covered, which will take ranges, which is the um which is the array, the left and right. <coughs> it will have found left equal to false because um found left will track what if you found left or not, and when you should start um doing the program. It will have ranges be sorted. By having ranges, which is the array, which has two poles, um, um, it's multiple things of two inside an array, and then I have a function, which will have key lambda, which um, I'll put, which will take the input of the x, which is the duple, like 1843, and I'll put um, this first one, so it's just for the first one, and I'll have a first equal to false, so it does not reverse the sorting. Now, for look through the, through the sorted tuples, and if found after. Um, if um if found left is true, which it's not, so it ignores it at the start. And um, if it finds left inside one of the two poles, which um a sorted would be 18, 43, 19, 30, 42, 46, because it's sorted by the first one. <coughs> if it finds left, which in this case is 21, in any of these in the first two poles, or second one, or any of them, just in this case would be the first, um be, it'll go inside the uh, um and it'll go inside the if statement. Um how does it know if find left it'll be if it's bigger equal to the first one which is eighteen forty three and it's smaller equal to the second one which is um forty three and because twenty one is bigger than eighteen and smaller than forty three it is covered by that number line. So it goes in here if found left is false. Let's just make sure it's not going in here multiple times when it's already found left. So if found left is false, which it is because it hasn't found left yet, it will make it true and have the farthest y equal to y. The farthest y is the farthest point in the number line, which in this case would be 43 because that's y. Because x is the first, um, x is the, um, using for loop x, y, x is the first number and y is the second number. So the farthest y would be equal to y, which is the farthest point in the number line. So this, right now, it's 43. Um, because you, it doesn't find right. Um, find right is the same thing as found left, just with right and and um and it has to make sure found left is true. Forty five is not covered by eighteen forty three, so it does not go into if um if it's found right statement. And um and then it goes back to the start, and because found left is now true, um it um it will see here if find this y plus one is equal with x. So for example, with this um ranges. Um, farthest y would be two because that's the farthest point in the in this number line, and then that can connect to three because it's plus one is equal to x. Or if farthest y is bigger equal to x, that means the other the second number line is inside the first one. So if it's either of those, if farthest y is smaller than y because um, it only updates at the farthest it updates the farthest point of the number line, not whatever the current point is. So forty three, um, it would then find nineteen thirty. And because 1930 is inside the number line, it goes in this if statement. But because 30 is smaller than 43, that means 30 is not the farthest point in the number line, so it does not update the farthest y. Um, however, if it's, if farthest y is bigger than y, then it would update it. And if it if found left is true, however, it, the um nothing else is in the number line, then found left is false again. To see if it can find another left which does work. And it keeps on doing this until if it if it um if it doesn't find right, which would return true. Um, in this case, it does because 42, 46 holds 45 because 45 is covered by 42, 46 number line, and 1843, um, 1930 is within 1843, 
and then um, 43, um, 40, um, this the uh, start of this number line, which is 42, is inside 1843 number line. So it, so it all, is all part of one number line, and right is inside that number line, so it turns true. However, if at least the FOIA loop and doesn't return true, which breaks out of the function, then it would return false. I would then take that output from the function and print it, which in this case, the output of the program would be f true because 45 is found in the number line.